G'day, I'm Kevin Young. I'm Australia's most successful property investor, but I started out poor and I'm constantly being asked, how do you do it? How do you get there? You ask me, I'll give you the solutions. Between us, we'll make you wealthy. Welcome back to Ask Kevin Young, and today, something completely different, as you may or may not know, we have our own charity inside the club called Club Cares, and it's the only charity in Australia that has no overheads. In other words, every dollar you donate, I match it, then it goes to someone, and you know who that someone is. So today, I've got a very, very interesting story with a lovely little lady called Elisa. My name is Paul Hoppenbrower, I'm a board director of Club Cares, and I'm here today with Rebecca and her daughter Elisa. Um, and we're going to talk or hear about what um, Rebecca um, can tell us about um, her experience with Alyssa. So Rebecca, um, tell us about Alyssa and the condition that she has. Um, Alyssa has listen carefully, which means um, she's got a smooth brain, but she also has a secondary diagnosis of hypertonic cerebral palsy um, and epilepsy. Um, the doctors didn't think that she'd live past one to two um, and we've just celebrated her ninth birthday. Um, so we're, we're struggling day to day obviously. She can have up to about 20 seizures a day. Um, some require sedation, others we just you know um, coach her through it. Um, she's fed through a tube in her tummy. Um, she lost her swallowing reflex when she was uh, in August 2010. Um, but she was actually diagnosed at seven months after her first seizure. So we had no idea. We thought everything was normal. Um, but yeah, she, she ended up having um, um, a seizure and yeah, within probably two and a half weeks she was diagnosed. So yeah. And, and I understand that um, this year she's going to be in hospital a fair bit as well. Yeah, she's... Um, just recently been diagnosed with um, centralised sleep apnea. Um, this is after she had an ICU admission for 18 days in August um, and she needs to go on to BiPAP treatment so we, we need to trial it for two weeks in hospital to see whether or not she can tolerate it um, and then she also needs major hip surgery. Her hips are 60% out of her sockets um, and so she needs to go in and have pin and plates put in. Um, there's no guarantee that it is going to be successful and obviously it's very risky but um, you know it's a catch-22 double-edged sword. Yeah. You don't know whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing to do but you know we just want her to be comfortable and have good quality of life at the end of the day it's all about quality of life for her so. So does that condition at the moment cause her a lot of pain and and a lack of movement or would it mean that she's more mobile after the surgery? Yeah, so Alyssa is um, she, she doesn't weight bear um, she does go into a standing frame and that sort of thing but at the moment she's non weight bear so she doesn't walk um, and she obviously can't talk she does verbalize and communicate with noises and that sort of thing um, but she yeah she's she's unable to to weight bear but with her hips being out of joint it means that at the moment she's not experiencing pain they can come in and out of socket quite easily but um, she will de later down the track develop a lot of pain and if it does dislocate we can have a lot of issues with it yeah Okay, and um, so at the moment you're also in a situation where you have a normal vehicle and you're having to lift Alyssa in and out of the car yeah. as well as her wheelchair in and out of the car and you were doing this I believe right up until recently when you were almost about to give, <laughs> yes, give birth. Yeah for heaven's sake so um, really what um, you're you're about to get a new wheelchair yes. that um, has the capacity to then lock into a vehicle yes. on the floor yes. but the vehicle that you have has to be modified to be able to do That's that right. yep. um, and that modification is quite expensive what have you been quoted for that um, so we've got a couple of quotes originally uh, the first quote that we got was around 45,000 um, but the second quote that we've got with just the essentials of what we need is um, about 37,000. So, but yeah, I was lifting her up until 38 weeks pregnant, in and out of the car, back and forth, and especially because she'd just come out of hospital, I had numerous, you know, follow-up appointments to go to at the hospital, and I was just, you know, in and out, in and out, and. Um, 
but I don't, you know, we don't get respite or anything like that. We, um, we're in the process of trying to apply for it, but up until now, we, yeah, we don't qualify for any government assistance or anything like that because both me and my husband work, so we don't get anything when it comes to her. We do it all on our own. If you'd like to help us, click below and donate some money, and I promise you, I'll match what you donate, and we'll tell you exactly where it's going to go and who you're helping. Thank you for your support. I love property.